Hello and welcome to my next video series. This time we're going to be looking at producing robust programs and this is going to be a short general introduction to the topic. Basically the whole idea is to produce coders who have more of this feeling and a little less of this feeling when they're working away. Although this dog is very very cute. So what is robust programming? Well, to give you an idea, consider when we go on holiday. Do we turn up at the airport on a whim, without any luggage, buy a ticket on the first flight, and try to work out our accommodation and sightseeing plans after we arrive? Or do we plan ahead, organize the flights, book the hotels, exchange the currency in advance? Do we think about the climate and pack our suitcases accordingly? Well, I think most of us will say, Option B is the one to go for there. Otherwise, our holiday could go horribly, horribly wrong. So, planning ahead does not mean that we will have no problems in our vacation. There's still lots of things that could be unforeseen and could really ruin our fun time. But it does mean we should have a lot less. We'll have the right luggage. We'll have somewhere to stay. We'll know what we want to see and do on our vacation. Programming is very similar planning ahead and trying to anticipate all the things that can go wrong will lead to a much simpler and more effective development and a final product that has fewer problems left to sort out at the end of the process. Again, we want to try and avoid turning into this gentleman here, realizing that his program's awful and he's got a lot of work to do to try and bring it up to a good standard. Robustness is the ability of a computer system to cope with errors during execution and cope with erroneous input. So to make our code robust, we need to learn about the following things. Types of error, defensive design, maintainability, and testing. And in this video series, I'll cover each of these in turn. Some of these are fairly large topics, like defensive design and testing, and I might do that as more than one video. So hopefully that is a good general introduction to the topic. I will now go about and design a video on types of error and I'll see you for that shortly.